told you lately that I love you? Could I tell you once again somehow? It is a love story that began 27 years ago between Jane Elizabeth Bounds and Chuck Robinson. Our first date was February 2nd, and we were married May 27th. A voracious reader, Jane Robinson would become known for her energy, service to others, dedication to her job as a controller for a luxury car dealership, and most of all, her lab. She has always been such a focused, motivated um, person, um, and, and within that was also, um, I don't know, just a very giving and fun person to be around. Her, her laugh was just so infectious and uh, we just enjoyed each other's company. She was fun. She also could be very mischievous. But Jane and her family were dealt a horrible blow. Jane was diagnosed with ovarian cancer in January of 07. And that began this long road. A personal story and long journey Jane had hoped would positively impact other women and maybe even save them. The Christmas of 06, she said, I just, you know, my stomach hurts a lot. And, but attributed it to Christmas time, the stresses of work, the stresses of the end of the year. And, um, and it wasn't something really that she hadn't thought about or been concerned about before. She was reluctant to go um, and get what I called the grams and smears <laughs> on, an annual, on an annual basis. That was just kind of our, you know, term I came up with. I said, you know, it's time to get in and, you know, do the grams and smears. And, oh, I know, I need to go, I need to go. And, you know, and then one year I think, you know, we just said, look, it's time. You've got to do this. It's, in, you know, it's important. She called and, and um, apparently they had had some difficulty getting a pap smear. And, and even then they were all laughing because I think her doctor had to get on the floor at a certain angle and there's not a woman who knows how you have to be when they take that pap smear. But after the laughter came serious news. The doctors had found a mass, and within a week, surgery was scheduled. I kind of thought, all right, you know, we'll do surgery, we'll do chemo, you know, we'll, we'll have this thing, you know, under control, you know, we'll, we'll have it licked. And I guess I thought initially that it would be more of a sprint and you know it turned out to be a marathon. It was a marathon Jane endured for three years but she was never alone. Her daughter Michelle was with her every step of the way. I was just scared out of my mind and I was my senior year of high school. Part of Jane's journey included daily emails to family and friends, an ongoing commentary that was always positive and encouraging to her readers. One more thought. I have never asked why or gotten angry because honestly that's wasted emotion and takes energy and cancer patients need all of their energy to fight, fight, fight. Almost sounds like a cheer. After months of battling this cancer, traditional treatments stopped working. Jane enrolled in a clinical trial and was referred to the services of the Mini Pearl Cancer Foundation. It really, truly did give us new hope. Um, we, you know, when you're turned loose from a doctor saying there isn't anything that I can do to help you now, um, then you, you get this resurgence of, okay, 
So these next few weeks, I will try and concentrate on my nutrition. We met with a nutritionist today at Mini Pearl Foundation. Good ideas. I just knew and I just felt so confident that we were going to have a healing. But it was not meant to be. 54-year-old Jane Elizabeth Bounds Robinson died in February 2010. At her memorial, not only did she request that ovarian cancer education be a part of the service, every email she had ever posted was bound in a book, a collection of clues about a courageous woman and how she embraced her life, the good and the bad. These last four weeks have been very challenging and sorrowful for many of you. I wish you healing of the body and the soul. I pray for you and your families as these are tough times for so many. Know your prayers for me never go unappreciated. And some days the strength of these prayers is my impetus. Now Jane's family hopes to honor her wish for increased awareness and for women to not hesitate to take care of themselves. If we you know, go back, would she have wished for earlier detection? Without question. I miss her laughter a lot. I miss talking to her in the morning. More than anything, I miss her hugs. She was the best hugger ever. I miss, you know, the companionship. Even the last four years, um, you know, she was still, you know, my, my companion, and I, I desperately and, and dearly miss that. They are all proud of this infectiously upbeat woman, a sister, a mother, a wife. Jane Robinson was all of those, plus a woman who embraced the Mini Pearl Cancer Foundation, an organization whose mission matched her own, to compassionately assist adults impacted by cancer. Jane Robinson's memory endures in part through increased awareness. Her family will remember her most for her courage, her spirit, her laughter, and her wish to make a difference for others. Have I told you lately that I love you? Could I tell you once again somehow?